Hello friends, today we are going to discuss certain email writing tips which is very essential for you while you are writing any business email. I have been receiving quite a lot of emails from students nowadays and I always see them making some kind of silly mistakes or they leave certain clues or certain points in their emails which leaves me to create some judgments or make some judgments about them. So I thought of making a video for you so that I give you some basic pointers that you should keep it in your mind while writing any business email. Are we ready? Let's go. The first and foremost one, writing a good subject. Any email which is devoid of a subject line demonstrates that you are careless, callous and probably non-serious. So you should not create such impressions about you. So it's very important that you write a proper subject line when you're writing any business communication or business email. The subject line should convey the most important message which you wish to write in the body of your email, right? For instance, let us say if you are trying to invite one of your colleagues or one of your superiors for a meeting, so you just simply can't write meeting in the subject. What kind of meeting? When is it? Where is it? At what time is it? So probably these kind of important pieces of information should be prevalent or pre uh, should be available from the subject itself. Okay, so probably the good subject would be monthly review meeting 20th of March, 10 a.m. boardroom. That would be a very, very suitable subject line. Good. Okay, so I believe you will keep this in mind. Number two, very important that when you are writing an email, make it personal. Okay, don't just simply write dear sir or madam. If you know the name of the recipient, always use it. Like dear Mr. or dear Miss or dear MS. Okay, so this way trying to personalize an email is always good. It shows that you are courteous, you are polite and at the same time you are caring about that person and at the same time giving a greetings would always add to the personal touch of your email. Writing greetings of the day, hope this mail finds you in good stead. These are good practices. Use them. Okay. And leaving or signing off in a very polite, courteous manner always earns you those brownie points. Number three, very important, keep your mails as brief as possible and ensure that the important pieces of that mail, important pieces of information in that mail are properly organized, if possible in bullet points. If the content is too huge, organize in paragraphs, highlight or underline important points, bold them if required. But remember, don't overdo that. Okay. So just it should not look like a scrapbook with a lot of colors and highlightings and all those. It should look professional, important. Okay. Then <clears throat> sound, the tone, sound professional, sound humble, sound polite. This should be the tone of your males. It shouldn't sound arrogant. It shouldn't sound bossy. It shouldn't sound as if you are intimidating people. So there's no harm in saying please in there's no harm in saying thank you. Okay. So try to be polite, humble, courteous. This will earn you the same kind of respect. If you follow this important tip. Next comes the attachments. So if you are using attachments in your email and if you have written in the content of your email that please find attached or something. It's very important that you do not forget to attach those attachments. And beyond that, it's very important whether you need that attachment. If the attachment contains a brief 
small piece of information there's no point in giving that attachment try to incorporate the same thing into the body of your mail okay because it's difficult if the person is traveling or something to download that attachment open it and read it if the same information is available in the mail itself in the body of the mail it's easy right okay so the next point very very important that when you are writing any email you should be very very careful not to use abbreviations not to use any social media jargon okay so never use lol never use fyi never use pfa okay you won't save a lot of time by writing these things but if you just write things in complete like please find attached this shows that you are meticulous and you are very very interested in detailing so that leaves a good impression for you and finally one very important pointer whenever you are writing an email to a superior higher authorities or probably to your customers or clients or to your prospects very important that you introduce yourself people are not just simply assuming or you are not that omnipresent or omnipotent that people know you right so need you need to introduce yourself tell them who you are unless you tell them who you are probably people won't understand why they received that mail first of all so it's very important that introduce yourself okay so i believe you will be using these pointers in the communication or mails that you write in future hope this gives you good information if you like this video do like share and subscribe spread the good word and all the best